what happens when you head on over to the uh, three by three by four? And here we have a three by three by six. So we have odds and evens down over here. The way to solve these is exactly like this, but you just divide it into two different cubes. In this case, solve for these two, and then these two. We can bypass this and just solve for this one, the three by three by six, because it's the same kind of thing. Basically, these are just three sets of two by twos. These two, these two, and these two. And scramble. And there you go. And look at how complicated that looks. All these colors jumbled together. You notice these cubes are a little smaller. This is the white Eden version. This is the cube for you version. Um, I guess it's just to make it more compact, but it's, it's really the same uh, type of concept. Uh, odd, even, so you don't get any shape shifting. You don't get any 90 degree turns. So even if it was the same cube size, um, it wouldn't um, be the same. So once you know how to do any of the evens, you can do all the evens, whether it's three by three by four, by six, by eight, by 12, it, it doesn't matter. It's really just a matter of dealing with each units of two. So here's what I mean. We'll start off with the bottom. We'll put the yellow on the bottom again. And uh, because it's an odd, because it's an even number, we don't have to define any we don't have any defined centers over here, which means that we have to define, define the orientation ourselves. So let's just start off with the fact that there's a green over here. So what's gonna come right to the right of green? Well, we can look at another yellow with the green and we see that it's red. So I know red is gonna be here. So I'm gonna look for the red, look for the red yellow, which in this case is over here. So I'm just gonna turn this up here, bring it here, and bring it down. So really, it's, a, it's pretty intuitive. Once we know that, we know where the rest goes. So, and you can see this corner is actually right there with it. So you know the blue must be next. Where is the blue? It's probably down here. Oh, it's where it needs to be, which means the orange, orange and yellow must be next, which is right over here. Bring that down, bang. So we have our, we have our cross here. Now the next part is we leave the realm of the bottom because we're gonna solve these two just like it was this last. And we're gonna start filling in, um, filling in the, um, the centers here. Now, just like we would try to find the center and define, define that, and that would be our guide to our top and our bottom, we're gonna start off with these two. So I'm gonna pretend like this is this and solve it exactly the same way. So I'm gonna use the bottom here, of course, as my guide. So here's green, let's find green, here's green. So I'm gonna to try to get the cross. You could get the cross here too. Um, yeah, we, we might as well. So green, green, green. Here's red. This red is, is appropriately here. We could put this red in. We're gonna borrow it from up here because these two are gonna be, these two are gonna be matched. It's just gonna become easier to do that. So double turn that down here, that moves it here. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing this down to meet right next to here and then moving it away. So taking it down, moving it away, and bringing it back. That way we reconstitute the bottom and then we'll move this back. And as you can see, this is here, this is here, where it needs, it's where it needs to be. So blue, blue, I'm gonna want this blue over here. Uh, so it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like a super cube. I can take it from any one of them. So I want this blue to be here. So this blue is gonna come down to join this. So move it twice, so I put it here, take it out of the way, move it back, and I can bring this in. So nice here, here. I just have to do the same thing with the orange. Just remember which side you're taking it from. If this was not orange, I'd have to take it from up here. This one I'd take from up here. So move it twice, back, twice, bring it in. So this is all just preparatory phase here. So that's good. Now same thing with the green. I need a green here, so I'm gonna borrow it from up here, any old green. Oh, apologies, the green has to come from here, like this. So move it, this comes here, here, and back. So at this point, I've got a cross on on all sides on the bottom. So now I'm ready to just focus on these two. Whether I needed to do it on the bottom here, eh, it's debatable, but why not? Maybe it'll make things easier. So now that I've got the middles, I gotta take the edge, which I'm gonna steal from the um, layer just above that. So I'm looking for the orange and the green. And my strategy is exactly the same that I've done. I'm not reinventing the wheel. Here's an orange and a green, and I can move this into place. 
Now, I don't have to necessarily worry myself about what's happening at the top and the bottom, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. You know, what's happening just above that or below that. So the algorithm is the same as we've talked about, 2R, U, and I'm taking the whole thing, doesn't matter, 2R, UI, 2R. Didn't mess up my bottom here, and it put this into place. So now I'm just going to keep wheeling it around. I need the green and red. Well, here it is, lucky enough. Here, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, green and red, red and blue. Is there a red and blue in the house? Yeah, but this is the wrong one, because this will get flipped if I use that. This actually belongs up here. This is the red and blue of which I seek. And then same thing. All right, so we're doing okay here. Blue and orange. Blue and orange happens to be here. And this is fine. So we now have this constitute layer here. Once I do that, I'm going to focus on this, getting that sandwich formation, see if we already have one. We don't. Oh, we do. We have that here. So this is moved to the left side. And then we do our corner swapping algorithm, which will put this red over here. And it's exactly the same thing. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Now, because we're moving these two together, we'll move the entire cube in this, uh, in this direction, this counterclockwise direction, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. So everything is a sandwich, except for this, of course. Sometimes it happens that way. So I'm gonna flip-flop these, and it's, it's exactly the same algorithm, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, Oop, UI 2R. All right, that flipped that in. Now I'm just going to flip these two. Same thing. Okay. Hope I'm not moving too fast, but I'm really not reinventing the wheel. So we've got these two versions of this guy done. Now I'm just gonna shift it up to these two. Now understand, as I'm solving these, this is now fixed. This now doesn't move, which means that it could end up with middle parity situations, and we learned a little bit how to get through it with this little guy. But instead of one thing in the middle, whoop, one thing in the middle, I was doing off-camera action here, we, we might have two. There's a way to get through that also. So I'm gonna move down here and solve this the same way that I did here, the same way that I will here, borrowing from here to bring down to here. So let's find ones that uh, are already in place. So I want the green and I want the red. So I need to find a green and red. Here's one here, but that's not the right one. It's gonna flip. So let's keep looking, 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 looking. If we don't find it, we just move on to the next part, next side here. Red and blue, do we have a red and blue that qualifies? Here's a red and blue and it does qualify. So holding the middle that I've created steady, 2R, now the U's with these two, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So that put that here, it did create parity, so we're not going to move this out of the way. So I'm just going to move this guy here. What I'm looking for is a blue and orange. Do we have a similar blue and orange? Yep, we do. And this is in the right configuration. So 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. And it fixed the parity as long as we do it an odd number of times. So we can just put this back to make it look real pretty. Now we need an orange and green. Here's an orange and green here. 2R, U, 2R, U, R, 2R. All right. And is that it on this side? Nope. We have this guy. We need the green and red. Do we have a green and red here? Yeah, it's the wrong one. And that's the right one. That's the right green and red. 2R. And we got lucky because we finished this part and we fixed any parity. So we've got the bottom here. Same thing with the top. Here's our sandwich formation. Move this to the side. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Now be careful because this middle is held. So I'm not going to turn the whole cube. Now I'm just going to do, I'm just going to turn it from right above what I'm holding steady to UI and D. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. That won't change this, it'll shift it, so we just shift it back. And now everything's a sandwich and we just do um, middle swapping. With the middle swapping, we're gonna start creating parity and we can hope that we have an um, even number to get it out, but if not, that's okay. 
to r u to r u to r to u to r to u to r u to r u i to r. So that was flipped in. So we don't want to leave this area here. We'll flip these two to r u to u to r to u to r u to r u i to r. Puts that in, and we have one more, and then we're cruising. To our u, to our u, to our to u, to our to u, to our u, to our to our. Okay. So this and this are solved, but we ended up with parity because we had an odd number out. So to deal with this, it was very similar to what we did with this guy. Hold it over here so that one is on the left side and the other is on the right side. But instead of one cube being out, it's two. When it's one, what, which, what you want to do is you want to make a cut right in between where the problem is. If you just have one, you're making the cut right above. And what you're going to be doing is the same algorithm. It's the URF algorithm. So cut it in the middle here to U, to R, to F. And just like with the last time, with the same cut, we do to u, and then we go right above that in this case because there's two. So we had to split it right in the middle, and then we have to go right above just like we did with this guy, and then to u, and then to f, r, u, and it brings that back. So there's a slight difference between when it's uh, just one or two, and that's going to be important when we have an odd number in our tower. Now that we've done that, we've fixed these two, cu these two cubes, these two cubes, now we just do these two, possibly creating parity all along here, but we're old hands at that now. So let's look at our, we need a green and red, and it's easy to see the color scheme here, it's not sandwiched in here. So why don't we just move this to where it needs to be. Let's find the yellow and the orange and green. Here's the orange and green. So I know that this, this is supposed to go here. Now this whole thing has become our middle, this whole thing here, so 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Brings this here, creates parity here. So I'm going to move this into place here, orange and blue. Here's the orange and blue side here, 2R, U, 2R, 2R. Fix that, put that into place. And now we want to put this into place, green and red, 2R, U, 2R. And our bottom is solved. We got a big old parity down here, but that might come out in the wash. Anytime you do any type of middle swapping, it takes the parity out or puts the parity in. When you do edge swapping, it doesn't touch the parity. So let's start off with edge swapping. Um, do we have a sandwich? We don't. Oh, we do. Right over there. So we don't have to create one. This goes to the left side. If I was saying right before, just ignore me. Goes to the right side, and let's just uh, middle swap here. In this case, 2R, U, 2R, U, R, 2R. Now this turns, and the bottom turns, because those are the ones that are exchanging, 2R, U, I. Okay, so that put these into place, didn't touch my parity as predicted. Now I do middle swapping and see if it's a symmetric middle swapping. So this will go here, 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2R, U, I, 2R. Put that into place. Looking good, except we have, um, say, these two to put in. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. Now just these two, and luckily it'll fix this parity. Let's do an example of what would happen if we wouldn't get so lucky. This all looks fine, we got these two to go, so we'll just flip this to R. Okay, so we end up with this parity situation. So just kind of try to work things out as to what you need to do. What we'll do is, is flip these two first and then these two. So hold it here, so this is at the left and this is at the right. So we're gonna split it down here first. By doing that, that's gonna put this pair in and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna kind of treat it from there. So that's two U, splitting from here, R, F, split it at the same place, to U, and then just above that to U, and to F, 
R U. And what that did is I put this back into place, but now I got these two to deal with. What you're going to do at this point is you're going to um, pretend like you're pretend like this is kind of one here and then you're going to split it here. So instead of splitting it down here, you're going to split it just below here. So this is going to be 2 um, U R 2 F split it again to U then up here to U then to F to R to U and you get it back and that's how you can solve this. So really aside from the the tricky parity situation something that you've seen with the Q forms of this it's the same thing. This is exactly the same thing and we can kind of make short work of, of it. What I would do is once again here's my bottom get my cross so that's here. We'll move a blue in here orange, green, this is already in place. So here we're good, we've got the cross, solve for here, get our sandwich. This is in place, solve for the bottom. So it's just solving for these two. Now for the top, and solve. So basically, knowing that all of these towers, especially all the even number towers, should, should be fine.